What's going on, guys? Uh, apparently, IGN made an oopsie, and uh, yeah, the new Shin Megami Tensei 5 Bethel trailer just launched, and we're gonna check it out live. I uh, was in the middle of live streaming, and apparently, just the trailer's out, and I accidentally just downloaded it. I don't know. So anyway, <clears throat> let's just check it out, see what new stuff we got. I'm, a, I'm expecting to see the red girl. She was on the thumbnail. I love her so much. Just wanna see more of her. Oh, ganging up on Nahobino. He didn't do nothing. Effing bully angel. That's why I don't like law alignment. They're douchebags. F yeah. I'm kind of. I don't know how to feel about going back to high school. I don't. I don't know about that. We'll see. Black Frost, okay. This guy, werewolf looking behind. J just so you're really clear, we watched a little bit of the trailer. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yo, my god! Holy crud! You get a little close to Hekantan Kairos' groin. I don't. I'm sorry. That was so hot in here. What? What the heck? Oh my god. Wait, what? What is that? Who are you? Oh my god. She's a. She's a snake demon? I didn't see that coming. Who the heck is this guy? Is he the werewolf? This is insane. Oh god, Inanna's back in her full glory. I guess all the SMT4 demons are back. Oh snap, that's his demon. Okay. Calling Nakajima. I'm like absolutely speechless. I, I don't even. What the heck? I, I just can't even tell what type of game this is, dude. Like, what is going on? I, I'm speechless, honestly. What the heck? We still don't, we still don't have answers. Wait. She, she does get taken over? Dude, I still have so many questions. I'm still trying to piece the timeline together because there's just these really strange like shifts. Oh god, no, come on. What happened to her? Dude, what is going on? Okay, guys, I've watched the trailer about a hundred times now, so I think I have enough information to do our usual breakdown uh, sort of analysis thing. And uh, this trailer's good. This is a really good trailer. Just not from the video standpoint, but the stuff we see, we don't see too much. We don't see too little. It's a good mix of just story elements and gameplay. So real quick, I'm just, I'm not gonna play through the thing again. Let's just get to the high points. So first off, a, a kind of unfortunate thing. This looks kind of weird. What's going on here? We have all these like uh, strange shapes and they're just centralized around here. Maybe a uh, just well of Magatsuhi near the diet building or whatever equivalent this is. Couldn't tell you, but uh, that, that did stand out kind of odd. We get a better look at this. Um, I'm just going to give her the nick nickname Shikana, which is sort of a uh, female interpretation of sort of feminine aspect of God's uh, holiness and uh, 
Yeah, that's a girl. I don't I don't think that's a homie from school. Uh, some people were theorizing early on that this game would be a Digital Devil Saga equivalent because, hey, there's like five characters on the front of the box. There's five other students, we'd assume, and uh, that does not appear to be the case. I do believe Shikana, which is sort of just my pet name for her right now, or nickname, not, I'm not... Uh, anyway, I'm saving myself. Let me just <laughs> say that again. Probably her. We know she cannot is like name dropped. And my god. Oh. oh, he's so goofy. Look at that watch cycle. I'm late for school. And then he's just no, 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 the coolest effing dude ever. God. But um, back back on topic to uh, facts. We move on to, uh, yes, we're going to see Black Frost. I don't know if that's redesigned per se, but we see a brand new Doi Team Designed Demon who seems to be a werewolf. Maybe, in my opinion, a Frenchman. And I'll get to why that is in a second. He's using a uh, signature skill. I'm gonna butcher this. Be next to me. I'm born in the South. Souffle de clair, which I don't know about you, sounds kind of French. Now, werewolves are not inherently uh, from France, but there is a famous uh, poem or story uh, revolving around a specific baron who transforms into a werewolf. And I'm gonna butcher this again. My French is not my strong point, but uh, I believe it's Biscalave, which is um, pretty much just werewolf in French. But uh, as you can clearly see, yeah, there's Isis. I love her. She looks really, really nice. The face animations are def like a huge step up from P5. He does appear to have what looks like a military garb. Now in the poem, this really important dude goes missing three days out of the week um, and nobody knows where he is, not even his own wife. But she finds his clothes or is it she doesn't find his clothes. The point being, it's Biscalave. He's he's in the game. It's a kind of popular story from what I can gather. Never heard of it until today, but I'm locking it in. That's most likely who that demon is. So Kunihiko not look at that animation. Look at that animation. I'm sorry. That is so like, for better or for worse, tokusatsu inspired that like growing. Oh my God. It's just, it's kind of cheesy, but I'm kind of digging it. Narukami seems to be maybe the tier four uh, skill for electric attack. And oh my, effing. I love her. Listen, listen, this is clearly a design to get like, prepubescent boys in Shimagami Tensei. <laughs> I can't deny that. Moon phases. Is he even a moon? See, when he said, oh my gosh, she's so effing hot. I can't get over it. I can't. Dude, look at them legs. She is strong, bruh. Strong. God dang. Girl, what's your number? In the compendium, I gotta know. I love her. I love her. I love her so much. She is so, she's just so great. I hope she doesn't mass murder a bunch of children so this doesn't look bad in the, in the, in the past. But my God, she's just, she's just perfect. Now, the reason I think this is Nuwa, we'll see like a little bit later in the trailer. So as much as I love her, I just, we got to move on. It's her, trust me. She's got the snakes and everything. It all makes sense. We get this um kind of close up, like why, homie, they just like, listen. Hecata and Kyrus ain't a penis demon. We got plenty of them, yo. They just mad showing Titan crotch. Atlas built different. I love that. <laughs> but uh, we get this. Oh, my God. It seriously looks something out of DMC. Aramasa, as far as I remember, uh, fact check me in editing. This, it was one of like the legendary Japanese swords. We saw uh, in a previous trailer, uh, Nahabino used Murakumo, which is like Susano's blade, against Hydra. And I think the last like trailer we got like this. A couple people were speculating that, um, you know, Algami, the blue-haired god, which we, you know, we get our powers from in this game, would actually be Susano. And I'm starting to not think that now because this is like the second fancy Japanese sword. I think it's just a special attack. Speaking of special attacks, the effing HMO3, baby! Check out this surf! It's just, oh, it's so cool. God, and the interesting thing here is, I know we're, I'm just, I'm milking this trailer, but it's really content packed, I swear to God. Three, is that three hits? That's interesting. I'm really curious about these moves. Now there's obviously like has to be a Magatsuhi scale, like ain't no like tier three Bufu. If that was the case, my God, you get annoying because it's, you know, really long animation, but we get, we get some more of Nuwa and God, I'm just, 
there's just something about her. For those who aren't uh, familiar with the character, she um she's more like she is like a uh, goddess in Chinese uh mythology and um in China they make a lot of clay uh figures and uh there was that oh gosh what is it called again I forget I mean want to see I could just look it up but I can't because of the scene okay Terrac I think it's Terracotta's army with a bunch of like you know billions of like not billions but a ton of uh just like stone soldiers in China I'm kind of getting that vibe I'm unaware of Nuwa also like created similar things was that a f and angel is that f and michael yo that's crazy i just noticed that this looks like it's the diet building also if you look at that um that stained glass up there and that little like shelf i don't know what you'd call it balcony kind of reminds me of the diet building but these windows aren't similar to that so hard to say not really important but this you know is her like alternative form i guess maybe she harvested all the you know uh magatsuhi and stuff from the angels and other demons inside the diet and um god her transformation looks so cool too i she's just so effing hot <laughs> like i'm sorry <laughs> i'm just super excited they got the mythology to work out we have another uh presumably adversary character i'm gonna call him raitu he uh well there's another Raido, so this will be Rai three what is his deal he seems to be fully human but come on bruh I don't care how how much you study the blade. How are you going to take on Nahabino? He's got a laser sword. Um, he does appear to be some maybe member of Bethel, Japan, who um is just sick of Nahabino's crap. Like he's like, oh, I got orders. Sorry, this could be a different like part of the game. You see that city like just uh, completely ablaze over there. I like the idea. What if he is a? What if he's like a train operator? I don't care what you are. You're on the tracks. I gotta cut you down. That would be really. Goofy, so that's probably not it, but uh, it looks really cool. Still, just a lot of unknowns. They didn't reveal too much here. I'm not going over the dialogue a ton, but oh my god, this part I flipped the freak out. I, I, I did. He's got two laser swords for each hand, it makes sense. He's got two hands. Uh, Anana's coming back, she's cool. Danu, I freaking I don't like Danu. And if Danu comes back, does that mean Dogda's coming back? I don't listen. I can't draw for crap, but Dogda belongs to SMT4 Apocalypse. I don't know if I want to see him in SMT5. It'd be a cool reference. Maybe like a secret boss fight or something. People would like that. We see, uh, gosh, I, his name escapes me, but he's teaming up with, uh, oh God, I also forgot the dog's name, but this, um, Cerberus wannabe. No, he's, he's not Nakajima. He does look a little nerdy though. Maybe he could be, but, uh, we do know, basically now confirmed, the other students from Nahabino school that, you know, he's, like, allied with, they are, they they do have the demon summoning program. It's clear they're using their phones. There's some standoff here. You know, you see, you see the girl looking away. She's scared. And there's all this red here. This red was also uh, present when uh, Nahabino was fighting, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, god dang it. Uh, Finn McCool. What I'm assuming is that's some, like, late game sort of deal, right? You gotta think. There's a lot of scenes with this almost, like... I don't know. The sand is just, like, burned almost with, like, blood or something. Or just stained with blood. Burn... You can't burn people with blood. Unless it's boiling, I guess. Then we got, uh, Shikana. Who I think is looking at Algami here. Now, hold on. This is gonna be, like, some tin full whole... Like, okay. So, I boosted the colors of this in editing. It's going to be really hard to do in this recording, but, like, trust me on this. There's, like, an almost an aura behind Shikana right now. And even a little bit of her armor is, like, tinted green. I think even though this scene is, like, you know, separating the two. Now, no, Algami is coming out of this green liquid. I don't know why. Maybe Algami, there's multiple Algamis and they're being manufactured. Because we, okay, we fast forward. A, uh, I don't want to spoil it. Okay. Fast forward a little bit here. Dude, Shikana is causing trouble. Whatever happens here, I think this might actually be a, like a cutscene in the very beginning. Algama's is just like, later. <laughs> he just gets out of there in an instant. So maybe Shikana is like, I just can't let you get away. You and your sideburns, they must be mine. He's like, mm, that sucks. Who could tell? There's still this Cthulhu demon. I'm gonna feel like an idiot if if it's not actually a Cthulhu demon at all. 
I want it to be, but there's really only so many you could use without becoming absurd or just nerfing them. Because they're just like, <laughs> they're easily the strongest mythos if we're going by power, power scaling. Yes, Cthulhu could... Cthulhu, could Cthulhu beat Goku? I don't know. No, I think Goku would win. Okay, moving on. Back on topic. Did uh, I miss anything? Oh, yeah, my freaking one true love. Okay, this is why I'm convinced this is new wa, and this is going to sound... Is this sexist? I'll risk it. Whatever. So this is a rather... um. I don't know how to say this nicely, a kind of revealing Copa and the design of it. It's just like, now that we see it from this angle, it's clearly Chinese inspired. Uh, Nu Wa is known to like create things. So maybe she is trying to harvest Magatsuhi to create her own, uh, like, you know, universe, so to speak. Where's her husband at? Hopefully he's dead. So I have a chance, but also, um, it's just gotta be her. Like, come on. She even turns into a snake thing. I hope she doesn't die too early. I wanted this to be an adversary. Maybe we can team up with her? Oh gosh. If only. I don't think she is necessarily a uh, like alignment focus thing. I'm starting to like sort of believe that yeah, some demons like Shikana will like obviously if you're law aligned, not fight you. But I don't know if she's some avatar of chaos. Because that's not really what Nuwa represents, at least from my interpretation of the story. I'm trying to see if there's any new demons here. This attack looks so gnarly, though. They have so much pizzazz. Really reminds me of Albion from Nocturne. God, I won't shut up about Nocturne. I've seen a couple people thinking this is, uh, what's it called? Actually, the Prime Minister guy. But as you can see, he he is like, his hair is totally different. The Prime Minister, whose name escapes me. I'm just, he's the Prime Minister. He has Al Galmi's, uh, just sideburns. And, like, this dude's clearly clean like shaved a little bit his eyes are really peculiar though maybe this is some sort of like demon maybe he does transform really this guy's so mysterious to me mr train conductor what is your lore my guy and really the last thing i wanted to discuss was what appears to be the end game of smt5 you're yet again in this bloodstained you know sand you have the female protagonist by your side uh for a lot of this trailer just you and her just walking. Maybe that past cutscene we saw with the Daug demon. He wants to kill her or something to prevent something. What is going on here? What I'm thinking is, because look at her hand. This looks like, I don't know if it's, she's like summoning something. But from what we understand of our heroine here, she has been able to hear a voice for her entire childhood. Maybe she's finally fulfilling her purpose as some sort of goddess of this new realm of Dot. Dunno. But uh, everything we saw in this trailer looks so great. I honestly, I don't want to see any more. I obviously have so much fun making these uh, sort of video analysis, but I'm good. I'm good. We have enough questions. We have like, uh, there's enough like secrets waiting for us. I'm just so excited. Um, I've already begun my independent research to uh, try and prepare the best Let's Play possible, um, and I'm just so pumped. I want to marry a uh, new Wa cosplayer, and that is all I will say on that. Thank you all so much for listening to my thirst. I hope uh, a little bit of this uh, insight was helpful. Doubt it, because it was just a lot of fanboying, but uh, that's all the time I got for tonight. I, uh, I don't think I'll be sleeping tonight, because well, if I do sleep, I hope my dreams are filled with this anyway <laughs> hope you guys have a good one more videos coming soon as always and uh yeah check out the twitch page uh stream literally every week if you didn't know i think they're funny but yeah see you guys next time all right bye